All right, well, I'm back with another video. Uh, I have been gone for quite a while. Uh, one reason is I fractured my hand across here, and then that was a month not doing anything because I was two weeks in a cast, and then I wanted to take two weeks off, just not using it much. Um, just to let it heal a bit. I still have two weeks until it's properly healed. But uh, I decided, since I've been gone so long, I'm gonna make a video. So as you can see here, we have a motherboard. Uh, a 550Ti and a power supply. Now this motherboard, as far as I can know, is dead. But we are going to try and bring it back to life. Uh, first of all, I want to try just putting a battery in because sometimes if you take a battery out of a motherboard, leave it out for five minutes and put it back in, it can sometimes clear the CMOS. And uh, I think it might be the BIOS that's uh, screwing it up because I put an overclock on my 8320 when I had it in this and that might have done it over which I'm, I'm not entirely sure about so we have an FX uh, 4300 here as well uh, so uh, also 8 gigs of RAM uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in uh, put the CPU in and the graphics card and hook it all up and I'll see if that works and if it doesn't well then we'll uh, try clearing the CMOS here So anyway, let's get one of these batteries out. And now all I have to do is hook everything up and if it works, it works. Hopefully it does. So that means um, we, we'll have another build. Now we're going to find the uh, triangle, which is in this corner here. It's just going to slot down like so. There we go, and we have a stock cooler. We're going to have to put some thermal paste on first, so. Much should be good. And put this in CPU fan one. There we go. That doesn't really matter. Now we're we're gonna want to take all all of our cables from our power supply and hook them all up. I uh, don't even ask about this. We can't find the uh, the PCIe Express for the this, uh, PCI Express um, power for this modular power supply. So we're just using a couple of adapters.
that and that's that's everything so now all we're gonna have to do is um plug in a hdmi which we should have around here somewhere yep already hooked up to the tv and everything monitor tv whatever you want to say and now in order to turn this on you actually have to first of all plug in a power lead that would work just like turning an oven on can usually cook food better than an oven that's off and there we go No signal. Let me just uh, try this again, see if we get anything. If you want to just turn around and look at the screen. Uh, all we have to do, if you just um, give us a couple of minutes, we're going to hook up a uh, keyboard and mouse and stuff, and then we'll do all this again. But on the bright side, it, it is just about posting, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so now we're just going to update the uh, the BIOS, um, just use the internet flash. Uh, so this will just download the latest one, the latest version, and update it itself, rather than using a USB stick or anything. So um, I'm going to do that. Firmware. On the bright side, downloading stuff from the internet with our internet is um, with our internet speed should be fairly snappy. I'm sorry for the mouse cursor being in the way, but we don't actually have a mouse hooked up right now. Processing crashless feature. Okay, so uh, I'm just after pressing enter to reset the BIOS. Should be working now in a minute. There we go. You saw these splash green just for a second. And now we're in the BIOS. Because we don't have um, a hard drive or anything hooked up for it to uh, install Windows or anything really. So actually, that didn't. Reset the time, the date and time, which is what we actually needed to do, which is very frustrating. So, this motherboard, uh, the motherboard's time, as you can see, it says Monday the seventh, twenty ninth, twenty fifteen. If you look down in the bottom right, it's set to when this motherboard was new. Uh, so we just have to go in and do this now. I probably should have had the thing set up in the first place, which I didn't. Stupid me, I guess. And then I'm gonna hit apply. Okay. Now that should be it all sorted. Save changes and exit. 
Yes. And that should be it. Everything. All right, kind of. And there we go. So this motherboard seems to be all right. Uh, we'll have to find out once we do a build in it. Um, which I definitely feel like I will be doing a build in it because I'm selling some parts out of the out of the other one. So motherboard seems to be fine. Thank God. That's um a bit of money we can save now rather than buying it buying more parts. Uh, I'll either sell that or use it in a build. I'm not sure, but uh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.